Alrighty, let's get started on this. So this video is kind of in reference to my bunny wreath. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to link to that right up here. I'm also going to link to it in the description box down below. But um, the tail for that bunny wreath, I get mine at the Dollar Tree. And a lot of you are saying that your store does not carry it. So I'm going to show you how to make some using other Dollar Tree items. So what I have here, <clears throat> excuse me, I've still got a bit of a stuffy nose and a bit of a sore throat, but I'm trying here. What I have is this three pack of styrofoam balls from the Dollar Tree and this soft microfiber cloth also from Dollar Tree. You're going to need these. You're going to need a hot glue gun and glue sticks. I use Gorilla Brand. You're also going to need a really sharp pair of scissors. So basically what we are going to do, we're going to open it and we're making bunny butts. <laughs> I'm going to take this over here. I should have already done that, but I just left it on there so y'all could see what I was uh, talking about. Now on this cloth, you'll see one side, the fibers are really, really short. And on the other side, they're, they're kind of longer. So I'm going to be putting the short side. If you can see this, you see how those are kind of short. And then this side looks a lot longer. The shorter side, that's what I'm going to put against the styrofoam. And because I don't know what size styrofoam ball you're going to be using, I'm not going to tell you like a certain size to cut your fiber. So I'm just going to say to take the ball and put it somewhere on your fiber. Ugh. And just make sure that you have enough to wrap all the way around it like this. It's kind of press it down make sure that all of it is covered and you see we still have a little bit left back here so I'm going to hold this like this and I'm just going to cut a little bit now you could glue this down first yes if you want to go ahead and glue it to the ball and then go back and cut it but I'm going to do mine this way you could do yours however you want it okay so now we've got a piece that will completely cover our styrofoam. And now what I'm gonna do is put a blob of glue on here. I don't want the glue to be too thick, you know, so it won't make like big ugly ridges <laughs> on the other side of the cloth. And I'm just gonna stick that down. And now all I'm gonna do is just put the glue on there and pull my fiber tight. And just kind of smooth it out a little bit. Please be careful and don't burn yourselves. I know somebody <laughs> a long time ago has somebody mentioned said, I burned myself with my glue gun. And they were they were fussing at me about it. I'm like, I can't help you. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm not responsible for you burning yourself. <laughs> glue guns are hot, man. But all I'm doing is just working this fabric around the styrofoam. And of course. This side is not going to be absolutely perfect, and it doesn't have to be, because that is the side that you're going to glue to your bunny. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Yes, this form came straight from the Dollar Tree. I have not decorated. I've not done anything with it. But the side that is all messy, where you cut your fabric, that's the side that's going to be face down on your bunny. So don't worry about what it looks like. <laughs> Just keep putting your glue and working it around. And I'm going to pause the video here. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like after I get it completely covered. So hang on just a minute. Okay, this kind of looks like one of those little crab rangoon things that you get from the Chinese restaurant. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so now what we're going to do, now that everything has been glued down, it's still a little bit warm. <laughs> everything has been glued down. And now we have come up to this part here. I'm going to start cutting away the excess, but I'm not going to cut it like right up against the styrofoam, okay? I want to come up about a quarter of an inch, half an inch or so, and just very carefully trim away all the excess. Because you can always cut off more, but if you just cut off way too much in the beginning, you can't add to it, you know what I'm saying? So let's see, because you still want to make sure that this is covered. You don't want it to just, you know, if you cut it too short, it might pull away and then you'll have a, a gap there. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. So 
let's just keep a trimming. Just keep trimming. Just keep trimming. Just keep trimming. Oh, Lord. Okay. So it's looking good. It's not pulling away. If you cut and you notice that some of it's pulling away, just stop cutting. Put a little, a little dab of hot glue. Hold it in place until it sets up. And then just go back to trimming off a little bit more. See, if you just do it carefully, you see you really don't see much of the styrofoam ball. Actually, I'm not seeing any at all at this point because I made sure, you know, to glue everything together right up until the last point there, you know, where everything is attached. Okay, so I think that's looking pretty good. Okay. Just smooth down any little rough spots let's get this out of the way and there is your bunny tail like i said here is the frame that i have not worked on and then you can just hot glue it there and there is your bunny tail and let's see so there's one actually i made two while i was sitting here i was waiting for glue to set up on one so i made another one so let's see there will be three styrofoam balls in that pack and this is how much fiber I have left over. So let's see, if we were to make another one, which would be the third one, we would have a good amount left over. See, there will be the third one. Excuse my stuffy nose. We would still have plenty left over to make possibly three more, at least two more. So, eh, for about three bucks, you could get like five or six bunny tails. You know, two packs of styrofoam balls and one of these. So you could get five or six bunny tails for like two bucks. So not bad at all. But anyway, if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The least all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see you all next time. Bye.